Two weeks ago, an elite team completed the first successful free flight test of the hypersonic air breathing weapon concept, or Hawk, missile. Raytheon Missiles in Defense worked with Northrop Grumman to build the prototype for DARPA. For the test, the Hawk was released from underneath the wing of an aircraft. Seconds after it deployed, the missile's solid rocket motor boosted it to supersonic speeds. The Hawk's scramjet, or supersonic combustion ramjet engine, ignited and accelerated the missile to hypersonic speeds above Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound. The scramjet engine, developed by Northrop Grumman, uses the vehicle's high speed to forcibly compress incoming air, which is then mixed with hydrocarbon fuel and ignited to propel the missile. According to Raytheon, the test validates the Hawk's ability to reach and cruise at hypersonic speeds. The successful flight is the next step in the eventual tech transfer to the U.S. Department of Defense for the U.S. Air Force. The Hawk's hypersonic speed maneuverability make it difficult to detect, meaning that it could strike targets much more quickly than subsonic missiles. It also has significant kinetic energy without high explosives. The achievement paves the way for long-range hypersonic missiles that could significantly increase the Air Force's warfighting capabilities, according to Colin Wellen, Raytheon's Vice President of Advanced Technology. Like we've seen with autonomous weapons, hypersonics has become the new frontier for advanced weaponry. The test met all primary objectives. According to DARPA, the achievement builds on previous scramjet projects, including the X-30 National Aerospace Plane and NASA's X-43 vehicles and the U.S. Air Force's X-51 Wave Rider. In June 2019, Raytheon and Northrop Grumman teamed up to integrate scramjet combustors into air-breathing hypersonic weapons. The companies are working under a $200 million Hawk Program DARPA contract. I'm David Manti. This is IN Now.